Our rally is essentially the best place to come for unbridled creativity. Derek Smith has been testing his creativity in Art Alley for more than seven years. While many spend their Saturday morning sleeping in, Derek is up early, looking to leave his mark in this downtown creative space. I love the art and I love the energy and the vibe that I get from coming down here. And plus, you meet all kinds of just wonderfully talented people. Derek is one of several regulars who takes advantage of Art Alley's culture. He's not looking to paint profanity. He's not looking to destroy others' work or property. He comes armed with a paper outline, an idea of how he can positively contribute to the alley. Art Alley is just like the world in and of itself. You know, everybody has a voice, and it's their own voice that's given. And I believe that these walls speak volumes to that testament. After all, Derek, like many of the serious Art Alley artists, has buy-in. He says over the years, he spent thousands of dollars on paint and supplies. It's a labor of love, so it's not anything that I'm willing to you know, worry about or you know, fret about. At the end of the day, once I'm able to spend my money in what I know is a good way and a positive way, I'm more than happy with it. But not all have this buy-in, and that's where some of the issues arise. Derek says there are benefits to the alley, but unfortunately, they've been overshadowed by the actions of those who don't understand the culture and importance of this workspace. It's been able to take me to a lot of places that I otherwise wouldn't have been able to go had I not had a place to come and you know, practice and experience and to gain that uh, knowledge of myself and of my craft.